Hi guys and welcome along to episode 6 of the Fabio Quagliarella Road to Retirement series. You join me on the 1st of January, the transfer window has just opened. However, we do have a match on the 1st of January. It's away, uh, well, it's not really away, it's against Genoa. But we do have to make an alteration here. Rello got sent off against Juventus in that last game. Uh, so we will play Shabo instead. Um, we'll head out and get this game simmed. So let's hope we can get a good result here to move into the new year. And it is a good result. Uh, Lanetti and Caprari on the score sheet. However, the downside to that is Ekdal's picked up a slight knock. Right guys, now at the end of the last episode I did say that I'd got a few tricks up my sleeve. Uh, in the transfer hub here you'll notice I've got four players shortlisted. Now these are all players that have played in the Serie A at some point in their career if they're not still there. Uh, they're all players that have only six months left on their contract and they're absolute beasts. We've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic, uh, obviously still at LA Galaxy, he's now 38 and clearly in some decline. But if we got him at the start of next season, I still think he'd score some absolutely banging goals. We've got Hulk, who can play obviously a variety of positions and has a fabulous amount of traits to him still. Uh, we also have Blaise Matidi, who's at Juventus currently. And then we've got uh, Levetsi, who's still out in China at the moment. Uh, but I do think could put a serious shift in. There are a couple of other players that I have my eyes, eyes on as well, and they're currently set to retire. However, if we use the cheat engine or the live editor, it is now called, we could remove that retirement from them uh, and go off to try to uh, bring them into the squad next season. So, I'm going to sign up these four players here, or try to sign up these four players here, and that will, should give us the basis for an amazing squad next season. And obviously it sets the tone for this series, it is a road to retirement, and a lot of these guys are on the latter end of the stage of their career, uh, but we will try to obviously keep them going for as long as possible, uh, whilst their stats are still pretty high. Okay, so Fabio's been on the phone to Zlatan, he's got him in for an interview, sitting down with his agent and clearly we want to try and get a deal done. Now Zlatan is 38 years of age, uh, so he's obviously in some decline, but he is still going to be a fabulous player with an overall of 84. Clearly that will start to uh, drop away, uh, but we can try to keep that uh, floating as, as high as possible with dynamic potential. Uh, we'll try with a rotation role. I'm quite sure he'll want something significant. Yeah, he's looking for crucial. I would have expected that, so we'll accept that. It's a two-year contract length. That will take him up to the age of 40, which I'm more than happy with. No release clause, which is good news. He's leaving it down to us to discuss the salary. Uh, let's go in with 27 half signing bonus of let's say 200,000 okay so we're you know we're making progress here he, he's dropped that wage demand to 27,000 but he's added in a goal bonus 20 goals uh, uh, to be honest I, I know he's going to score that many goals but uh, I'm quite happy to accept that and that means that as of next season we will have Ibrahimovic and Quagliarella up front together. This is going to be some partnership. Okay so next up on our list of players to try to sign is Blaise Matuidi. Uh, he's still only 32 years of age so he's still got a decent uh, sort of career ahead of him. Uh, he's Overall he's 84, but his current wage is also 115,000 euros, which might be a stumbling block for us in terms of this negotiation. However, he is also still worth 20 million euros. So if we go on to sign him, we could potentially keep him for a season and move on uh, to, to make some money back. Let's try with an important squad role. No, he does want a crucial role, which I'm more than happy to accept he will be our 
highest overall central midfielder, so we'll accept it. Two years. Let's see if we can maybe push him to three. That is accepted. No release clause, that's good news for us. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. So he's prepared to take quite a wage drop. Uh, but obviously pick up a large appearance bonus with 1.1 million. I think we've got to do this, guys, uh, because he is going to be an amazing player for us in the central of the centre of the field. So I'm going to accept it. And next season, we have now got the making of an absolute super squad. Right, okay, guys, so let's just try and uh, lock down Hulk signature next. Okay, so the last player on this uh, list at the moment for us to sign up is Levetsi. Uh, 78 overall, 34 years of age, can play as a striker or a cam, and I've actually added in a couple of extra positions there because you know, he's known to be a winger. Right guys, so that's it. All four of those players are now signed for the squad. We have Levetsi, who will play as a left winger. We have Matuidi, who's the RCM. We have Hulk, who will play out on the right wing. Zlatan will play as the striker and partner Fabio Quagliarella and this is going to be a bonkers forward line. Right guys, so having got those deals on the table, let's get into our first game. It's against Milan, we're away. Fortunately, it is a 1-0 loss though. Rebic getting himself on the street there for Milan. Okay, so this next game up is against Brescia. It's a home one on a Sunday. And it's a 1-0 victory with Ekdal getting himself on the score sheet. But unfortunately, he did get a red card. Okay, so next up we have an away game against Lazio. It is a Monday night game. They're playing in a 3-5-1-1. And he doesn't pull it off. Managed to get a victory here. Quagliara gets himself on the sheet along with Rigoni. And uh, yeah, 2-1 victory. Okay, so the next game up here is a home game against Lazio. And it's a 3-0 victory. Gangto, Quagliarella and Capriari getting themselves on the feet. Right guys, this is a game changer in terms of the save and the amount of money we have available. Getting an offer in here from Valencia for Emi Zero. And to be fair, I have to really consider the offer. At 32.5 million being key current evaluation and being offered 36.9 really have to see if we can get a, a deal over the line here i'm going to start a delegation okay guys so you join me on transfer deadline day and i will roll across to our current signings so we've brought four players in they're all on pre-contract so we won't see till the start of next season okay so it really is a game changer valencia have now offered up 42 and a half million euros for adero we clearly have to accept that at this stage in the save we will be able to do a serious amount of damage with that money uh, throughout the rest of the season if they was to buy a marquee player. So I'm going to accept this offer, see if the deal goes through, and I do have a replacement in mind for him. Okay, so the deal is done. 42.5 million euros to the club. We will see 36.5 million euros of that. So now we have to go and try and spend some of it. Right, guys, so this is our man. It's John Luigi Buffon. You all know who he is, and we know he's an exceptional talent. He's 42 years of age, so he's certainly on the road to retirement, and that will make it our fifth signing. So, I'm going to try and sign him up, but obviously I want to sign him for now. I had to take a player retirement off of him in the live editor, as he was set to retire. Um, but we will make an offer now to Juventus. Okay, so next up on the shopping list for the start of next season, Daniel De Rossi, former Roma player who's ended up at Boca Juniors. Right guys, so just a quick rundown of who we've got on pre-contracts now. We've got Zlatan coming from LA Galaxy, Hulk's arriving from Atalanta, Tweedy's coming from Juve, Lavezzi's coming from China, and De Rossi is landing from Boca Juniors. Right guys, so next up on our target list is a player that had a fantastic career in Serie A, but was more recently played in France. He's Currently at Manchester City, having moved there this season. Now, fortunately for us, Manchester City negotiated with this club. So we're just going to go ahead and we pay that release to us because plenty of money available in the kitty. 87 rated players still, 35 years of age. But I don't care because 87 rated, 
let's negotiate. Right guys, so there it is. Thiago Silva in a Sampdoria kit. 18 mil euros, a gun deal. Okay, so let's just see out the rest of this transfer window as we see on there holding up the jersey and um, see if we get any more offers on the table. Okay guys, I realise this is a relatively short episode, but you joined me at a very pivotal point in this career save. Clearly we've signed some absolute beast of players. We have lost a Darrow, but we've replaced him with Buffon. So we now have five players coming in at the start of the next season, which is really going to change the way in which this uh, team shapes up. There's still plenty of retiring or nearly retiring players out there that we can sign up to bolster this squad going into next season. So let me know in the comment sections down below if you want me to continue to sign more players as we try to get into the top echelons of Serie A and hopefully get this squad into the Champions League final. And if you did enjoy this video, or indeed the series, don't forget to hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel for future FIFA 20 content.